what you have just observed is an ESD event, and that ESD event caused radiated emission. And the radiated emission is picked up by a small antenna, which is connected to a oscilloscope. So what exactly happened there was, when the engineer was approaching the door, before that he was sitting in a chair. So supposedly he he started to accumulate lots of charge in his body. Then when he was walking towards the door and touched the door, there's an ESD event、uh, happened. And what happened is when you have A lot of charge built up in your body. Then you touch something which is low impedance. Then a very large di over dt would occur, and that current will need to go to the lowest impedance pass, which in this case, which is the Earth. And as a result, what happened is when you have high frequency current flowing on the surface of a wire, depends on the length of the wire. That wire can act as an antenna, so without doubt you will have radiated emissions, and then that's exactly what happens. That radiated emission has been picked up by the antenna, which is connected to an oscilloscope. Note that in this setup, we、uh, select input impedance as 50 ohms, and here are the waveforms we measured during the first ESD event. As you can see, with one volt division. So we're talking about more than 10 volts peak-to-peak -peak voltage measured by the antenna. Same with、uh, second ESD event. As you can see,、uh, it is clearly very high frequency and also、uh, lots of energy there. So imagine if it's not、uh, this antenna, but rather、uh, a wire or cable、uh, which is connected to a, a laptop. Then you would know. That's the sort of interference voltage that can be generated by by this one-off、uh, ESD event. So that just demonstrates how、uh, radiation generated by an ESD event can be a problem. A similar case can be seen here. In this case, she was sitting on a sofa. She was start standing up, but by then she has already accumulated lots of electrostatic charge. She was walking towards a straw and touched the metal straw, generating an ESD event. And as you can also see, the FFT analysis of the time domain signal.